Yeah, I thought, uh, I think number one, we, you know, had a great weekend, uh, coming off a huge win for us and our program uh, to go on the road and, and beat a team like Arkansas State, a team that's uh, done very well uh, in the last four four seasons. And they have a really good football team. Uh, and our kids went out and played well, executed the game plan, and, and we come away with the win. That was, that was great. And the great thing about football is, you know, regardless of what you do, the previous week, you know, to get another opportunity coming up, and so we've got a great, uh, another great team ahead of us that we have to go play on the road. And uh, again, looking forward to this challenge. Thank you, Coach. First questions come from uh, Winston Salem. Uh, caller, please go ahead. Hey, Scott, this is Tommy. How you doing? Good, Tommy. How you doing? Just fine, thank you. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm gonna fold a couple of questions together here just to make it massively long and confusing, but uh, hopefully you get the gist of it. What, what, what do you think your team's mindset is right now, coming off a big win and then right back with another significant challenge coming up? And, and is there any way as a coach, you know, you approach this going from one big win to another big game, or, or is it is it been more of a momentum build for your guys rather than just a random big win or big game, if, if that makes sense? Yeah, I mean, you know, I think the thing that we've done well with, is forgetting about what happened the week before. I think, uh, you know, especially early on in the season, I mean, we started out, uh, we won one game out of the first six. I mean, so you really obviously can't dwell on what you just did, and you have to find ways to get better. I think we've done that in the last half of the season as well. I mean, you know, we picked up some wins here, but we haven't dwelled on anything that we did the week before. We just tried to come back to, to, to work the next week and continue to get better. I think, uh, you know, this team is uh, – very resilient team and a team that's hungry. And, and I think uh, they understand that, you know, each week when we come out, we're just trying to get better and better. And, and that's what we've done. And we really haven't focused on anything that's happened in the past. We, we focused everything on that opponent that we've played uh, coming up. And I don't think it's going to be any different this week. I mean, I, we're trying, still trying to get better in, every, in all aspects that we're doing. And, and, and I think we're, you know, all our focus is on, on Lafayette. Yeah, that, that's kind of what I was getting at. I, I was curious, you know, but the season's been a little different for you than, than in some situations. Maybe you don't have to worry about overconfidence as much as, you know, maybe if it was a different setup. Yeah, yeah um, I think, you know, yeah, I mean, you know, you're coming off a big win. I mean, sometimes uh, maybe uh, in the past if you're, you know, been rolling, you know, you could you, know, you tend to say, okay, we're rolling. You know, you don't have to show up. Well, we're certainly not in that boat. I mean, we're 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 in a boat where we better show up. I mean, and I think more so than anything this time, you don't show up, you don't get beat uh, pretty soundly. And, and it's certainly this week, I mean, Lafayette's capable of certainly uh, putting the pound on somebody. And uh, if you don't show up, so you have to you have to you know, be very focused and show up each and every week. Right. Um, I noticed this morning you're first or second in most every offensive and defensive category in the Sun Belt this week. And in fact, you're leading total defense now. But uh, mm-hmm. But you're near the bottom in a lot of special teams category. Will, will that be a focus in the off season? Um, yeah. is something you you know thinking about for next season? Any plans or, or yeah. just what your thoughts on that? Well, I mean, yeah, we we certainly we have to get a lot better, especially in that aspect. And it's a lot of factors. I think it's not just uh, you know one thing. I mean, I think you know families had to you know, put the whole load on his back in, 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 in every aspect, and that's that's taking a toll on him and really probably taking away from what he does very well, which is funny. Uh, you know, and then we've, we've had some personnel things on, on special teams where we're trying to, you know, get some guys in there uh, to try to help us out, you know, depth-wise. So, yeah, we, we certainly have to address it, and we've been addressing it throughout the season. We just, you know, we've had some bad circumstances, and, and um, you know, we didn't we didn't cover very well on the punt team last week. Um and, and so yeah, we we we're trying to focus on. We're trying to get it not not necessarily next year. We're trying to get it fixed now, and uh, we're trying to harp in on it and, and try to not only you know we 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 got beat last week in special teams. We're we're gonna try to go out there and at least uh, you know stay even or hard not win special teams this week. Yeah, will it make much of a difference? I mean, I know you still what about five scholarships, I guess, or something like that. I mean, when you get to the, you know everything totally full, will that help a little bit in that regard? Uh, well, I, well, I mean, we're just like we just we just signed our first FBS class this past class, and there's a lot of guys, and we registered a lot of guys, and I think um, you know as, as you move forward into it, and, and you're building the, the program, building the team for for one A for FBS, uh, it's going to be better. I think next year, I mean, we we're registering you know close to 20 guys in this class right now, you know, so a lot of that stuff you know we'll just add to the mix next year, and then whoever you sign next year, you know, we'll add to the mix as well. So. 
we're certainly going to help build our depth, and that's going to help in, in, in all aspects. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, thanks, guys. We'll talk to you all soon. Right. All right. Thanks, Tom. Thank you, Tommy. Our next question is uh, coming from uh, Boone, North Carolina. Caller, please go ahead. Uh, Coach, this is Steve on the paper. Yeah, thanks, um, First off, congratulations. Uh, on your leg, isn't it? Um, Tommy kind of mentioned it. You, just when you play another game, another one comes up, and you're playing the preseason player of the year in Broadway. Just wonder who, who um, what's, what's the best way to contain this guy? I'm not so sure you can stop him. Yeah, I mean, I tell you, they do an outstanding job uh, offensively running the football, and it all starts with that. They have two outstanding running backs. I mean, not even counting Broadway. One, you know, both of their running backs. One of them's a bigger guy, and the other one's just extremely fast. And you know, you, you got to obviously try to stop both of those guys. And then, you know, while you're trying to stop those, you know, Broadway can, can go off on you. I mean, he can run the football, but he also makes great decisions in the passing game. He, uh, and he can distribute the ball to the, to the guys on the edge to make plays in the passing. I mean, so but it all sets up with their running game. Um, you know, and therefore you got to commit to stopping the run. And then now you're leaving some guys outside that are they can make some plays. So um, they're, they're a very good offense, hard to stop. Um, and uh, you know, and I think that's their strength of their team. The apologies to George Southern. Is this kind of a balanced offense that you faced as far as talent? Kind of do a yeah. Else. Yeah. Well, I think yeah. I, uh, you know, they're a physical team. Number one, they pride themselves in that, and, and they come off the ball. They'll use the the two tight end sets and, and, and the big back and just try to pound you. And, and so, you know, that, that's what they do good at. They control the game that way. Um, but unlike a Georgia Southern, I think they throw the ball better. I think they 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 can they can put the ball in the air uh, and get some big touchdowns that way as well. So um, it is it is difficult to defend. Um, you know, a little bit, you know, like last week, Arkansas State was a very balanced offense running and passing, but these guys are a little bit different. They'll, they're going to use a little bit bigger uh, formations with the, with the tight ends, and Arkansas State didn't do that. So that's a little bit different, I think, uh, for this team. Um, you guys got off to a slow start last week. Um, but with your offense, you still managed to get it in gear. Was it just a matter of figuring out what, what they were doing or just stop? Or, I, know, I know your field position was very good, huh? Yeah. Yeah, well, I think we started out in the hole a little bit there uh, in, in the first half, and you know they got a punt return, almost for a touchdown, and then you know we we filled a uh, kickoff, and, and we ended up stepping out of bounds at the minus two. Uh, we had some bad things happen there early on. Um, you know, once it settled all down, I think it was huge for us to score right before the half with Netters when we made the catch and score. Uh, that was big. Uh, you know, and then we fumbled the ball, Barker does it out of the end zone. I mean, so we just had a lot of things go bad for us there. We still felt like we were moving the football, and uh, you know the driver Marcus fumbled out of, out of the end zone, we went 85, 86 yards, and with no points. And uh, you know, so when we come out, we score right before the half, which was big, and then the third quarter was huge for us. We got touchdown with the defense held, and we got another touchdown. So we, we gave them a back, so we were able to get back in the game. I know uh, with the spread offense, everybody equates that to the past, but even when our mind was there, you guys really ran the ball well. Was this Mm-hmm. Does, does the spread help you run the football? Because it kind of spreads it on out, or am I wrong on that? Well, no. I mean, we're we're we want we you know we're trying to set the run up. I mean, we're we're trying to find ways to be able to run the football, and, and if they do give us the pass, then we'll take advantage of that. We, you know, again, we're priding ourselves on giving uh, taking what the defense tries to give us, and if we need to throw it, we can, and, and, and obviously we would like to be able to run it. And uh, so yeah, by spreading teams out, you can kind of find a hole where you can you know get some running game going. And uh, you know, our lines are blocking well. Marcus is running hard, and and Joe's making good decisions in the running game. So you put all that together, and we've been able to uh, to rush the football pretty good. Well, you got a chance to uh, win your last two, even, even though you can't go. You, you can be bowl eligible in your first year. Yeah. Uh, in the bowl division, if you would just talk about that a little bit. Well, yeah, I mean, we're, you know, you still, like I said, we still got a ways to go with the, the two teams we have to play left, and um, it would be a, you know, great feat for us to be able to get to that, that plateau in our first season uh, at the FBS level. It's um, it's obviously a milestone, I think, that every FBS team tries to strive for as they, as they start the season, uh, trying to get to that six-win mark, just at that benchmark, and, and we're no different. I mean, obviously, you know, you want to win as many as you can possibly win, but uh, but that bench walk in our first year would be an outstanding feat for us. And, uh, you know, and, and just looking forward to, uh, to if, we, if we somehow can get that, that would be, be awesome. But, you know, really 
we haven't talked about it here as a, as a team or a staff or we're focusing all focus just uh, off the edge and, and just kind of go out and play the best we can here, you know. Appreciate it, Scott. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. Thank you, and.